some of us, we are still living in denial. Uh, for, for me, for instance, I'm still living in denial. I think he hasn't, he's just, he's just left us traveled. I mean, I don't, I don't want to use, even use the word dead for Danny because I can't believe it up to now, you know. So it was just something that we, that was organized by the family and friends to um, put him in, you know, in remembrance, like, like for people to remember him, not to forget about his legacy and, and all that, yeah. For, for a long time, you know, I must say I was that close with Danny Neti, but for a long time we weren't meeting. It's like um, two brothers, you know, departed from each other for a long while, and then all of a sudden, you know, you get to hear this news. You still can't fathom, fathom you know, the whole thing properly. You can't digest it properly. But uh, sure, I do, I do miss him. I mean, um, his presence his, his, and his calmness and humility in everything. Yeah, I do miss that. Because for, for what Danny knew and for how much he knew, he should have been like, you know, all over the place, working on all of us. But he knew how to take his steps. I think he was a great guy. Mm -hmm.